Rebecca Luce has relived the excruciating moment she was ordered to track down David Beckham by his concerned wife, when he was locked in a bedroom with a model. The explosive affair between 46-year-old Rebecca and 48-year-old former footballer Dave has been dragged back into the spotlight by his bland Netflix documentary series which glossed over the biggest threat to his marriage to 49-year-old Vicky. The star couple first embarked on their relationship way back in 1997 and tied the knot in 1999, and together they've welcomed four children. 24-year-old Brooklyn, 21-year-old Romeo, 18-year-old Cruz, and 12-year-old Harper Seven. But their marriage was rocked in 2004 when Rebecca sensationally claimed she had enjoyed an affair with David while working for him as his PA in Madrid in 2003, an allegation the sportsman denied. After the affair rumors were pulled back into the spotlight, Rebecca has been hitting back at her former fling for addressing the incident in a dishonorable manner. Rebecca complained David had brought fresh shame on Victoria by skirting over the affair, and made her seem like the villain by raising the specter of the affair without taking any responsibility for it. Now she has been sharing more awkward highlights from their professional past together. Speaking to the Mail Online, Rebecca hinted that she was not the only woman David cheated on Vicky with. And also explained how hurt she was when she allegedly caught him alone with another woman while at a party. Recounting a party hosted by Cristiano Ronaldo in Madrid in September 2003, Rebecca says she saw David chatting with a model. She then received a phone call from Victoria who was concerned because David wasn't answering his calls to her. Rebecca claims, I said I didn't know where he was. And she says, don't hang up, go and find him. I was like okay. So it's a bit awkward. I went into the house and up the stairs and I saw David's two bodyguards outside a door. Rebecca claimed she whispered it's Victoria to one of the bodyguards. She continued, he, one of the bodyguards, disappears. When he comes back David is with him. I can see the model in the background lying on the bed. I can see it's a bedroom. I was fuming and I just looked at him, gave him the phone and said your wife. I was so hurt. It was just this awful feeling and I thought to myself, you stupid fool. But he had me, he had his claws into me, and I was at his beck and call. David and Victoria masterfully skirted around the issue of the affair, briefly addressing it, without really saying anything about it, during their four-part Netflix documentary that was released this month. David is shown discussing the affair reports from 2004, saying, there were some horrible stories that were difficult to deal with. It was the first time that me and Victoria had been put under that kind of pressure in our marriage. Victoria herself claimed the incident was 100%. It was the hardest period for us. Because it felt like the world was against us. And here's the thing, we were against each other, if I'm being completely honest. You know, up until Madrid sometimes it felt like us against everybody else. But we were together. We were connected. We had each other. But when we were in Spain, it didn't really feel that we had each other either. And that's sad. I can't even begin to tell you how hard it was and how it affected me. Rebecca previously slammed David for brushing the scandal under the carpet, saying, he is indirectly suggesting that I'm the one who has made Victoria suffer. The Mirror has contacted the Beckham's representatives for comment on this story. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Facebook, YouTube and Threads, 